I'm still recovering from Tuesday and the massive stream on Monday. I just slept most of the day. But whatever, I'm here now. I'm on time. Right, so, I just wanted to do something fairly chill today, because I don't have the energy for anything else. Uh, so I'm going back to sea, and we're going to fish, because, you know, as much as I had heard that Fishing bar at sea was good. It just playing it made me think how it is. It is actually. It's surprisingly good. Anyway, let's go over to the game and see if everything's working right. Well, so far, no. Yep, right, I forced it, and now it's here. Good, good. Now, let me just... Uh, I, I've, I, I, I've muted my feed of this, so one... Yep, as per usual. Right. Now let's continue. Of the career of Jimothy Jimson, Fisher person. Ah, uh, there's me. There's there's Jimothy Jimson. Eh. Uh. Let me look around. Am I stuck? What? All right. Uh, I can't remember what I was doing. Did I have a... No, I don't need to... Yeah, let's buy some fuel. Ding! Uh... Yeah, no, I've got the ships. It's fine. I can't buy any more ship yet. I don't have enough money for more ship. Just each ship seems to have its own... Hmm, actually, how's the... Hold on. Is the audio not here? Hold on. There we go. The audio did not seem to exist, but now- Oh god, it's very loud. Oh no. Uh, let's sort that. Alright. That should be better. Right, back to my career. Of- Boat. Boat career. Hello? What do we got here? Oh, a new quest. Oh, they want Haddock again. I think that can be salted. 
How far, how was my, uh... Uh... My fishing thing. What am I, uh... I have only so much I can fish. Where's my fish that I can do that with? What? Alright, uh, weather's... Oh, tomorrow's gonna be foggy and cold. Great! Uh... Now that's weather again. Uh, that's the map. Okay. Uh... Where's the haddock? There. Where's the pollock? There. The... I, I do need to go back there. That, there again. Yeah, they do seem to go through a lot of haddock. I need to go and get it. So, where I want to go, therefore, is... Uh... There, and then there, and that's it. That's the travel. But before I do that, I need to buy some stuff uh, at the fish market. Uh, not the fish. Yes, that's what I need. Now, it. Do I need even more long lines? I mean, probably. Bait them with, I think it was shrimp? Or was it mackerel? I can't remember. Oh well, one of each. And, uh. Yeah, I think I'll leave it be. I think I'll just have that many for now. I'll afford more later. All right, thank you for remembering. It's too late now, though. I'll just have to deal. All right. Well, I seem to be pointing directly at the dock, so that's not so good. No! Not that! Ah! Ah! Okay. All right, back to the map, I guess. So I can get the fast travel out of the way. Uh, how do I... Shit. Right, M for map. Now it's telling me a tutorial about it. Now that I'm not doing it by hand. Okay. Uh, the dimension is you need using the parent C. There's a long line called the main line. Beta talks attached to intervals. And the number of branch lines called snoods. That's a wonderful word. Snood. To deploy a long line, you need to choose a number of hooks and the type of bait you wish to use. It must be stepped in eight hours. It must be picked up in 48 hours. So collapsed or will be lost. Long as can't chase within 50, 50, 50 meters of another fishing gear and will have decreased yield of them within 100. Okay. Cool. 
back to the map. Now. Haddock. There, I guess. Oh no! At least I didn't crash into this one. Those are uh, out and about. Now, if I could remember how to go first person again, that would be great. Uh, there? Yeah, there we go. Uh, have to stop driving. Hey, someone turned my my furnace off. Turn that back on. You're heading directly toward that island. Oh well. Uh, four hours. Okay, so what if... What if... I got back to shore... And just waited it out. So how... How much time... Does that give me? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. No problems. Definitely not colliding with any of these people. Yep, bye, bye, bye. Yep. Oh no! Get out of my way! Oh no! Okay. Everything's fine. 11 hours, you say? Yeah, I can put in a dock and, uh, refuel and stuff and actually make sure I took the actual quest. Uh, hold on, wait. Uh, uh, ah, there we go. Okay. Because I might have forgotten. Oh, the fog's rolling in. The sea's full of ghosts. Well, as long as the fish aren't ghosts. I don't think ghosts are worth anything to sell. Let's speed down there. Uh, no, that's not how I moor. Um, how do I moor? Fuck. Uh, uh, I forgot the control dock. At least there's a button there. That'll do. How? I would like to accept that job. Because I forgot to. So that would have been unfortunate. Mmm. Alright, let's fuel let's fuel up and get some hull repairs. Before I need to get the hull repaired again by leaving. Skip some time. No, not 24 hours. Give me like That'll do. Let's get going.
Hey, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Yes, I think I'm not crashing. Yes. I have failed to crash. Wonderful. Wow, I sure love not crashing. That's great. Ugh, right. Ah, ah. Yeah, that'll probably be done by the time I uh, get there. So let's go. Fish. It's... Yep, that's pl that's probably more time than I needed to do. Oh well, it's not going to be bad. It's just could it's just could have been better. I mistimed it a little, but that's all right. No need to keep holding forwards, this isn't a friggin' heart racer. Don't need to do that. Come on, Joel, get it together. You're a serious fisher person. Fisher boatman. Eh? Ah. All right. Let's get us some fish. Get on the stick. I think this is like a stick with a nail in it. Whoa, you're a big one. You're not. Yes. Oh yeah, I can give it to him now. All right. One redfish. One. And more to pollock and lots of haddock. Uh, no, I will not want to cut them at this time. It doesn't change the amount those people are going to give me for them. So, fuck it. I don't care. Where are they? I don't know. Oh god, they're all the way over there. Fuck, I might as well catch the rest of my fish. All right, more fish.
Oh, I probably should have looked at where I'm going. There. There. I see you. You. Fuck boy. I made a joke! Using nautical terms! I'm a comedian! Don't leave me! Don't no, stop, 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 stop. Okay. All right. Fish. 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 I still don't know what those percentages are. Fish. Fish. Oh, you're a lively one. You're just dead. Maybe some of these fish are ghosts. I got some card. No, I do not want to do that yet. I'll do that later. Right. Where's the cruise ship now? Still a fucking million miles away. Wonderful. I'm just going to hang around and wait for I don't want to spend fuel on that. I guess I could always go and buy more f more stuff and find more fish. Yeah, all right, that's what we're doing. Do wait, no. Remove that waypoint. I don't need to go there. I need to go there. Okay, let's do. It. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, narrowly avoided them. No, stop. Remove that waypoint. Whew. Right, where's the cruise ship now? Still all the way down there. Can I actually make it there myself? I don't think so, but... Alright, I'll put in and get some more fuel. And then I'll just go out and meet it, I guess? Alright. Let's let's do that then. Hold on. I don't wanna get like low on uh Oh yeah, and I could might as well refresh my bait as well. No reason not to. I'll keep the fish for now, though. I still need it. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. You can see my boat's got loads of capacity left. I can have loads of fish. I just remembered something incredibly important that's missing. Which I'll sort out once I've docked. Uh, sell none of my... Uh, actually, don't sell anything. Don't sell any of it. Right, one moment. This is very important. There. Wonderful. Buy some fuel and did a tiny, tiny buff to our hull. And now we're off. Ow. Ow. I go now. Apparently not. Apparently I have no way to not crash constantly. Alright, I think that's got me clear. No! I nearly uh, dovetailed into the dock. That was uh, smart. I'm a clever boy. They're still over there, so let's go. Wait, fuck. I wanted to do my lines again. I have to go back. Back to the dock. Back again. I'm an absolute goon. Oh, it's fish market. Inventory. Uh, yes, let's bait with more mackerel and more mackerel. Okay, we're done again. And away! 
again. Right. Uh, uh. All right, where are we going? Map. They're still down there. Okay. Eh. Eh. Right, I cannot waypoint to the boat, and the boat isn't going anywhere, so I've got to go after it. So how's everybody? We're going to be here a little while. Now let's get indoors. Hmm. Good thing I got indoors. It's a bit wet out there. And in here, apparently, it's very shiny. Come on. You see, you see it in the horizon, just a tiny dot. That's where we'll go. Oh yeah, what they do what's the new UA about then? What's it got? Maybe I should get into the habit of reading these things I'm responding to out loud. I mean they're on the screen as well and they're on the VOD, but you know, I can't rely on people being able to read. As I learned on Tuesday when only one of my contestants was literate. Ah, so they're finally doing a D&D 5.5. Or at least considering it. Well, as long as they don't invalidate the prior material. by uh, Outside of the core book, of course. Because the whole point is it replaces the core book. Yeah, thanks Mary for being the only contestant who knew how to read. Anyway, I got a dispatch notice on your prize. It should be arriving by the 20th at the earliest, I think. Well, I... I Honestly, yeah, watch it. Watch it. it re I, I... Like, I watched it again afterwards. And I did it. I found it enjoyable to watch, despite having hosted it in the first place.
Probably because I wasn't able to, like, appreciate it when it was happening. Because I had to work on, like, making everything work. And doing absolutely everything behind the scenes. Aside from the buzzers. Oh yeah, there's certainly going to be another uh, uh, episode at some point. But, uh... It depends. It depends. It might. I might have another a game show recreation first. It depends on how I feel. Does One Direction have trade in D and D adventurer slaves? Is that is that, is that a thing they're into? I mean, I guess if it's a fanfic, they could be into anything. You could, you could make it about anything you want. You could do a fanfic where One Direction are a colony of beluga whales, and that's just how being able to make your own art is. I of course mean art in the sort of general sense of an art for of art forms, not necessarily just drawings. That has confused people already when I talk like that. Yeah, I'll I'll leave that to other people to do because I'm not going to be the best judge of what was funny for others, because... <laughs> well, uh, I would do a conversation about uh, There's a whole subgenre of real person fix where the reader is being sold to One Direction as their slave. Why? Why? Why specifically One Direction? What? What? You know, I, I shouldn't even be surprised. This is the internet. Things happen. Weird trends occur something catches someone's eye and then it just explodes even if it's absolutely just i what i don't okay i keep being surprised by the internet and i really shouldn't people are capable of anything Is that a whale? I don't know. Yes, yes, it is. The whale. Ah, there's our quarry. Prepare the uh, harpoons! Be ready for this cruise ship! We're taking our lads! It's gonna be ours! Get my midship, don't a sinker! Too much plunder aboard! I'd like to be under the sea 
in an octopus's garden. The shade. It let us in. Oh, where we've been. I don't remember enough of that song. Mm. I could do it some with some rollicking sea time music. Not that the music in this game is bad. Oh, rotate searchlight. Ah, I'm gonna need to turn that searchlight on. Actually, no, it's only really worth doing at night, otherwise, I'm not gonna see it. Yeah, give me some shanties. Or just someone come along with a squeeze box and just play some tunes. I wonder what the modding scene for this game is like. I didn't check. There you are, you cruise ship bastard. Get over here. Come on. Faster. Yeah, so I can't fast travel to the boat because I've never been this far before. So... I mean, this will at least give me a sort of narrow corridor on the map that I can fast travel down if I need to go somewhere along here in future. Every time I come out of the map, I get stuck. Alright. Well, we're just here for a bit, I guess. Oh, that's... No oh, no! Oh, no! I can see through my own neck! My head has pivoted in an awful way. I know certain members of my audience love this kind of shit. Uh, it, it doesn't... It's not so bad on the... Oh, no, no. No, I'm clipping through my own suit. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, I can see the part of the ship behind my body through me. All right, all right. Let's let's stop doing that. Yeah. What an interesting little porthole. Is it for like if I was really short and needed to look outside, like if I was three feet tall? Short people got no reason. Short people got no reason. Short people got no reason to live. Ah, just a bit of rocking Randy Newman. Well, it would be interesting to do it your head. I've got a decent voice. It's just I'm not, I'm very out of practice. Uh, also, I'm mildly worried about what you would sing. 
like would it would it be like like big tales about murder or something? I mean, it's you. Where's the ship gone? Have I gone past it? Oh, it's alongside. <sighs> or is it? Where did it? What? Hold on. All stop. Oh no, it is still ahead of me. I just lost sight of it. All right, turn back around. And we could do a nice rollicking round of hammer smashed face by Cannibal Corpse. To be honest, uh, th that song has been replaced in my brain by the super happy version done by someone on the internet. It's just like a delightful, jolly version of that song. Without changing any of the lyrics at all. Hey, oh, ah, oh, ah. Alright, yes. Where? Where? Where ship? I can't see it anymore. It's there. Okay. The ship doesn't appear to exist. Doesn't seem to be here anymore. If you generally want to come along, come on the show and have a bit of a sing along, I can do that. I can do that. Because, you know, not much is happening right now. If anyone's trying to, like, contact me via Discord or anything, I can't see. Hold on, let me just, uh... Right, if anyone wants to jump in, they can. Well, there's anyone who's on my working server. Oh, Captain. 
Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Mary Rabbit. I've boarded the ship. Maybe I've been stowing away all along. I wouldn't know. <laughs> you really wouldn't know. It's a tiny ship, but look, this is uh, this is an inherited ship. Grandpappy gave it to me. Who knows what's in here? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what history ship this and... ship has had. And you don't realize it's got like three extra rooms in it that are like a whole secret underboat, and you're like, huh? I never checked down there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there could be an entire, like, missile complex or something under the hull. I don't know. <laughs> I could have ICBMs. Ship activity. <laughs> Anything could be here. I, yeah. I, where the hell am I? Oh god, I've still got ages to go! Yeah. This ship is so slow. Or is it just that? Or is it just that the sea is big? Thank you. I do appreciate the upside down unregistered hire cam too. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, I've been hiding that on most of the streams, just yeah. in a different position it's, and with different visual effects. <laughs> This is a nice running gag that like you don't you clearly aren't actually using hypercam too because No. Well, so why who does? would you use Who does now? <laughs> I don't need that to record footage. There are plenty of free yeah. options. I'm using one. Yeah. For those of you getting into streaming. Use OBS, not Streamlabs OBS. Don't do that. They kind of stole the. They just, just kind of like stole the name OBS and went, nyeh nyeh, to the owners of OBS. Fuck them. <laughs> I mean, I've talked about spurious lawsuits before. <laughs> I hate them. I haven't actually done any solo streams, like, outside of just, like, spontaneous, hey, I'm doing this through Discord kind of things yeah, I mean, in a couple of years. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's so cool. So, I don't actually have a stream set up anymore, it's just like, oh, I'm guessing on Jamesy's stream again, sure. Well, you don't need that much to pull that off. Yeah, just jump in on a Discord call, like I'm doing now. Mm. Yeah. I had a lot of fun with the quiz night thing, and like, anyone who's watching this, like, seriously, go watch it. Like, Hank and Exo Wave, like, great contestants. I, I was very happy with how it turned out. Like, yeah. I... It, it was kind of how I imagined it would be. And that's <laughs> not something you can say that happens often with creative works. Yeah. Like, it comes out of your mind and actually is what you had in your mind. Yeah, it, it had a nice, like, way of ramping up in silliness between rounds, like... Yeah. Yeah, like, I loved how it was... it's... it's... Everyone was playing along. I loved that. I, it wouldn't have worked as well if people didn't play along with how anarchic and silly I was do <laughs> doing it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I knew things were going well immediately when Pank started immediately joking about me chloroforming them into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a bit like, like the opening of Zero Escape. It's, oh yeah, just a figure in a gas mask, like, threw her smoke grenade at me, and that's the last thing I remember. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think it I quite actually... came out on the street. No, but I, I kind of got what you were going for. Yeah. But uh, not many people reacted to it. But that's okay. Yeah. Not every joke lands. Because that's, that's why you do thing. more. Hooray! That's why we did two hours of jokes. Like, some of it lands. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I wasn't quite being Jeremy Paxman, D. Um, because uh, 
I mean, I was uh, putting on a, a sort of aura of control and seriousness, but I very much wasn't. 2019 Cromer. Yeah, well, uh, apparently I have delivered this uh, Hagrid Haddock to the middle of the sea, which is... Uh, <laughs> it's just he's dumped it back out. It's, uh, and I've been paid for it. And, it's just uh, like a giant mouth beneath the waves that swallows it all up, and you're like, well, I'm getting paid, so this isn't my business. And the town likes me now, so... Whatever. Why would they want you to dump fish in the sea? <laughs> that I just caught from the sea. Yeah, you, you caught also, it like a couple of Also, I caught it like two, miles, a couple right? of days ago, <laughs> out, out in a different bit of the sea. That's that's ice. I'm going to go away from that. I don't think I'm capable of going through that in this... I don't know what to describe this boat as. It's made entirely of rotten wood and uh, spit. Yeah. And ICBMs. Right. Yeah, I just keep all my ICBMs down here. Mm, right, uh... Dup, 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 dup. We can't actually launch them, but you know, you never know So I've got when you'll need them. this narrow corridor of map that I can now technically fast travel through. Um... <laughs> well, I'm gonna yeah. turn on... Oh, no, let's put on the all species section so I know where at least I can put some fishing down. Catch and release when you kill off the fish. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I just want to make sure I'm going. It's not displayed. These fish, like, you can just gut them. They are definitely dead after yeah. two days. Speaking of, that's what I'm going to do now. Because now that I've delivered those fish, I'm going to gut the rest. Yet. Because they only wanted a weight. Yeah, so I don't of care. Fish for that, yeah. But now they want gutted fish, and it's like, again, you want completely intact but dead fish dumped into the sea, and it's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Knife goes in. Like I Guts said, come out. when you when you were doing this as a stream before, I was like. Oh man, I'm really hungry for fish and chips, but at least like seeing you gut the fish will probably like make me go, oh no, I actually I'm not hungry anymore. And then it turns out that doesn't work. I'm just like, I'm indifferent to this. Well, that's because we know we we're... Yeah, it helps it's not that crappy. No, so not like... really. I just make a big hole. I just spray paint them red. Yeah. Just like go into MS Paint. Spray tool. Increase the size. Go across. Fish now cut. I have now fish emptied cut. fish of guts. That goes in, that's coming out. Uh, hmm, now, let's look at the map. Yeah. It, Not to be fair, it's some like, what, season 12 or something? It's the Simpsons Goes to Japan episode. Yeah, I mean, tail end of the good era. Of no one's cut it. Tail end of the good era. For oh, sorry, I'm a red feet. Said, I made that Simpsons reference last time, and no one got it. Sad. That it's is sad. Uh, and it's like uh, the Simpsons has not been good for over twenty years. Oh yes, so, like, absolutely. And that was from again the tail end of the good episodes. Mm. Yeah, there wasn't much more life in the show at that point. Yeah, they really could have ended it, like, in that scene. Probably. And it would have been satisfying. Anywhere before season 15 and you'd have people go, well, that, there were a few bad seasons, but most of it was good. Yeah, and now it's it has no reputation. It's destroyed. It's ruined. And also, I think it's ruining some of its actors as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, uh, the person who voices Barge has been having to do that voice for, like, oh, yeah, 30 it's years. Her throat. Yeah, it's Isn't absolutely destroying voice? their throat. I thought I'd heard that. I might be mistaking her for another voice actress. <laughs> ah! Whoa, that was not a good idea. <laughs> You drinking? Uh, Pepsi Max with lime. I got Pepsi Max cherry here. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, even Pe Pepsi Max is actually pretty nice. Yeah, like, I'm not fond of normal Pepsi Max. Normal Pepsi Max. It's kind of an aftertaste that I don't really like. But yeah, the uh, yeah. cherry and lime like ones one, don't have it. Like cherry, lime, raspberry is the best, but it's, it's for some reason usually the most expensive. Did you try the ginger it's... one? Ah, uh, did I? Because I did. I did. Yeah, like, it was alright. It, it, yeah. it was like... It kind of reminded me a lot, well, it, of course it would remind me of a ginger beer, it's full of ginger, but yeah. it gave you the same sort of burn, but still being back, Pepsi yeah. flavor. I remember years back they did like a, what's it, Iron Brew, but like it's a fiery version of it or something, it's just like it had extra ginger in it. Mm. That was pretty good. Although Iron Brew is one of these weird Scottish drinks that, like, outside of the UK, it's completely unheard of. Mm, and yeah. In the UK, not everyone's had it. True. I mean, uh, I had to import out of Scotland some 1901 Iron Brew so that I could yes. try it. And I did. And it's yeah. really good. I still do, like, I think one of the supermarkets in town does that. Yeah, like, eventually, like, Home no. Bargains started getting it in. And, yeah. uh, well, then I got it from them, rather than it's... importing it down. It's not something I'd want to drink all the time, but Ooh. it's nice to have, like, Iron Brew. Like, I'm not super nostalgic for my time <laughs> in Scotland. A whole pod of, uh, a pod of whales. A pod of whales. A pod of whales. Hey, Pank. Pank, 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 Pank. I'm on the sea. Yeah. I am a guest. I, it kind of just uh, happened at random. Yeah, I just said, hey, do you want me to, like, you jump on your stream and sing sh sea shanties for you? <laughs> of course, George is the captain. He's got the hat. Yeah, I've got the hat. I need to, like, cut ear holes in it. Hmm. That could be doable. It's doable. Well, yeah, but then I'd give you the hat back and you'd go, why are there holes here? It's not like no, no rain or anything. <laughs> if you think this hat is keeping out rain. Oh no, not very well. No, it's it's probably it's quite nothing. sodden at this point. Yeah. Hank, I'm it's not starting with me. I don't think one small bunny can, like, run this ship. Then again, a floating head probably can't, so who knows. I'm doing pretty well. I mean, I seem to have borrowed this body that I'm looking at. It's mine now. Let's go, feet, go! Yeah, Pank, you can literally just jump in on the voice call if you want. Isn't Georgie's streaming discard? Yeah, I'm just here. Whatever. 
I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't set up for like anybody else showing up, but you know, the Discord just means I can. Yeah. I'd have to mess about on here to actually yeah. get people showing up. What's just living later, right? Yeah, what you doing? Honestly, I don't care if people drop in, it's fine. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've dropped in on, like, Tyro's streams pretty much unannounced before. <laughs> like, if people show up, I don't mind. Yeah. Like, you need certain yeah, permissions on that. I, like, I had I had to set, I set permissions to have only certain people have access to this chat, so... Yeah, even uh, if even after I might, yeah. Okay, so there's a Discord, but it's not public yet. Streamer. And uh, it will eventually be when it's ready, but it isn't ready. So for now, there's just like other streamers on here that I'm working with occasionally, or even only once. Once is enough. Oh yeah, no, I, I feel it. I feel a zombie mood. Yeah, after seeing, like, the... What was the news article? Uh, hmm? I'm trying to find... It's in, it's in the gun show chat. It's the whole... Why we would all benefit from feeling the odd hunger pang? Oh, I'm like, God. I will literally kill and eat whoever wrote that. So I kind of grew up in a poor family, and we did actually like go hungry sometimes. <laughs> I don't think I, my my family. I don't think we're ever at that point, but we've always kind of felt the sting a little. Yeah. We especially are now. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Apparently, uh, it's romantic to like exist in blackouts, according to an article. Or. <laughs> Or, you know, it, it's totally cool to, and, and, and rad to, uh, like, just Why not drink lots of water, to just not water? drink water, and just not drink water. Yeah. It's fine to dehydrate yourself. The water thing is, like, particularly insane, because it's like, the same kind of people go, Oh, I have to go golfing every week or I'll go crazy. Yeah, just... Like, hose down the, the golf course to like, keep all the water, keep keep all the grass watered, and they're also saying you're not allowed to drink from the tap. Oh like, god, yeah, the moldy food is fine thing. Oh god! Uh, there are... Moldy food, even if you cut the mold off it, there's still mold spores inside yeah, it. Yeah, it's still really bad! You shouldn't be eating it. It's still bad! Like, if part of a loaf of bread is mouldy, that means all of it is mouldy. Right. Honestly, like, I've been... Yeah, I've actually been struggling with, like... Uh, Searchlight! Gonna mention some, like, mildly unsanitary stuff. I won't I don't do it mind. in any detail. It's like, no, it's just for anyone who's, like, listening. Yeah, if, if anyone doesn't want to listen to that, don't. Cover your ears for a minute. It's like, I've had, like, problems with mold and bugs in my kitchen cupboards before, and, like, it's particularly bad now after, or well, was particularly bad up until a couple of days ago because. I kind of hadn't slept properly in months, and was just like neglecting everything. Yeah. And it's like I looked at it on I think Tuesday morning and went, "Oh, I kind of need to do something about this because it's like it's all like tins and like sealed bags of food. That's all I kept in there because yeah, the, when there's bugs in the cupboard, like you need to." not put anything that can get contaminated in there, but it's like, 
man, I do not actually want to have to live like this, like washing down bags of food before opening them up or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So I just pulled everything out of those cupboards, cleaned it as I went, and just piled it up aside, and then just blitzed it with bleach. Mm. Just, it's a lot cleaner now, and I'm just gonna keep doing that until the bugs are all gone. Yes. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta keep on it. All piled up on the table. It's not ideal, but like, I can do that for a week. Yeah, you can do it for just, 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 just yeah, just have to. starve them out for a week till they no it. longer yeah, exist. Graham. It's like I hate doing it, but it's it kind of has to be done. As a side note, I really hope in the future this uh, thing I'm using to auto-generate subtitles can handle more than one person. Yeah. I want that because currently the subtitles are just locked onto me. So, like yeah. any uh, deaf viewers later watching this won't know anything that Mary is saying. Yeah. And I'm just responding oh. to no one. Apparently. Shit is haunted. I mean, yeah. You need to let go. It's been 20 years since the accident. No. No, fade away. <laughs> I will stay. Mm. Holding on. I will let nothing go. I can't face my emotions. I was taught not to. I'm a man. I have to keep it all inside. No matter how it tears my body apart. Not that I'm bitter about that or anything. This is getting surprisingly real out here on the sea. Yeah. Oh, Pank says, Bad Space King, this is our last attempt to reach you in the coma. We don't know where this message will end up in your dream, but we miss you. Please wake up. Well... Bad Space King... I mean... I know, but in... The doctors say that in your dream, I'm some kind of bunny who streams alongside you. But in reality, I'm also just a bunny who <laughs> streams <laughs> alongside So, you know, it's yeah. the same as reality, so why should I care? The doctors say that in, that in your dreams, I am Markiplier. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> That's not what... No! Sorry, I was just trying to look up, uh... I was just trying to look up, uh, the... ...bit in one of the Conan novels where Conan talks about li about the whole nature of it. Is reality a dream and such? Because it's pretty much my thoughts on the matter as well. And that it doesn't remotely matter. Like, regardless of if it is or isn't. It's what I'm experiencing, and I should treat it as though it's real. Even if I am yet but a figment of someone else's imagination, it doesn't matter, because to me, I am real. Uh, and the Lion D says, the sea madness is taking hold. Well... <laughs> yeah... It is, yes. Yeah. But yeah, um... I just realized I wasn't at full speed. No? So we were doing this a lot slower for no reason. Listen, as all of your furry fans will tell you, you need to increase the number of knots. Thanks. Thanks for that. 
really <laughs> we need, we needed that. This is uh yeah. I mean, Podcast what the hell? Is this isn't highbrow cool. entertainment. I don't care. Let's make jokes about dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what nautical miles are. Yes, I know. That I assumed that. <laughs> uh, right. Um. Oh, another whale. I seem to be on a direct course for this whale. Oh well. Dandelion D says, My next door neighbor had an imaginary friend called D. Then I moved in, she disappeared. Am I real? D, I want to tell you, you're not real. But it doesn't this matter! Is entirely enjoy a dream. how enjoy your lack of being real. It's fine. No. You can do what you want in your reality. Yeah. It also comes to mind that I could probably have uh, fast traveled back up the route that I came. But it's too late now. I'm just gonna hang around here on the sea. Mad Space King, we are using this coma communication technology to send you a very important message. Your car's warranty may be about to expire. We have been trying to reach you about extending your warranty. Fuck off, corporation! Get out of my dreams! If this is truly my own dreams, I will that all corporations suddenly detonate. Now! No, oh, you're sending every corporation the equivalent of you should kill yourself now. <laughs> now, all of you. Now. So, I only recently like saw that meme being used, and it's ended up like there's a now emote on a Discord that I'm in solely mm. because I went, like, oh, I'm just gonna like take the frame of like the lightning going around and just like make that transparent and then just call it now and we just use it whenever it's all right you need to like do this thing now it's like go do your shopping now because your your cupboards are empty it like everyone is piling with now <laughs> the emotes of kill yourself that's a that's a sign of a good emote one yeah. that's needed this is very funny that we've all like came to like see it as a Yeah. What a lovely looking dawn. Then again, like Whenever I can add emotes to a server, I always like. First things I add lesbian flag and cat that looks at gay people. Yes, you've described cat that looks at gay people to me before, but I don't yeah. know if you've done it live. Oh, cat that looks at gay people. Uh, if you're. A, yeah, you're in a Kimball Dynamite club, yes, I am. so like, you can just use cat that looks like. <laughs> cat that looks at gay people. It's. Well, I don't Actually, have nitro, I can only use it there. Oh no, use it there. Like, use it wherever. We'll understand. Uh, it's... For anyone who's not seen it, there's a show called Log Horizon, and there's this uh, character yes. in it who's... Yeah, it's an Isekai show. It's one of the better ones, oh, although yeah. it's still, like, I, kind I, of... I actually remember it quite fondly. Yeah, it's reasonably good as those shows go. It's... Like, gamers get trapped in a fancy MMO. It's, it's a fairly stock idea, but it, it isn't mm. well. 
it's got a lot of fun aspects to it. One of the characters in it is this like older gentleman who like just plays as a cat man. Like he's just a furry like like he's not just oh a guy with cat ears, he's full on like anthro cat. And like he's a, he's this classy gentleman type. He, like he's like a couple of decades older than the other characters, and like like he's the dad friend. To the group. It's, this is this is nice dynamic they've got going on. And the thing is, in his official art, like he's doing this really smug look at the camera. And so I just cropped that out, called it cat that looks like gay people, and then just made it into a like in joke in like five different servers. <laughs> like it started in Izakai naming server where we just come up with silly names for shows like that. Just because it fit the the concept of that, and it just spilled over into being the general like someone has said something really gay, so react. <laughs> Yeah. Hank, you're always welcome to use cat that looks at gay people. I can just give you the original if you wanted it on your server. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, well that, that, it's spread. It's spreading. I suppose I've expanded this sort of narrow corridor a bit by coming down it the other, down it again. Bit more room to uh, get back down here again. Hmm. I need to probably put in some more fish. How far I am? How far am I from my normal? Area. Mm, not much fish here. Keep going. Uh, I've, I've noticed that uh, apparently I don't sleep. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious about this this player about Jimothy Jimson and how he seems to just exist continually as this weird constant. He does not change. He does not alter. He does not seem to live, yet is not dead. Yeah, just pints in two of her servers with me, they've just got a cat that looks at gay people. <laughs> I just noticed that. Except it's not letting me upload it, so it's like, okay. So, Tang, since you actually have have those, you can just like right click them, save image, and then like upload to your servers and emote if you really want. Honestly, like, the emote that I've brought with me to the most servers has been the cyber modules from... Damn it, Tank. <sighs> Saying upload failed, and not letting me do it. So who knows? Well, you you you'll have more time to attempt this. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Cyber modules is one that 
The thing is that it's not even just a cyber module icon from System Shock, because it turns out that looks garbage when it's scaled down to a boat size. I actually had to draw in extra lines on it to make it look okay. And it's just a good all purpose. I I sympathize with you, but do not have anything to say. Here's some cyber modules to upgrade your like stats or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there is, there is u definitely use for a, uh, I sympathize with your situation, but have no idea what to say or do. Yeah, it's, it's the equivalent of, like, having, like, a hug emote or something. Mm. The, the stock ones for that just look garbage, so. Yeah, they're usually pretty terrible. Yeah. Like, when they're scaled small enough, you're like, what is that? What have they just yeah. said to me? And then you look then you look a bit closer and it's like two people are splicing together. <laughs> and that's Oh no. Merge. You wish us to merge into one being. A horrid Perform flesh fusion, a flesh ball dance. of limbs. Hallmark flesh ball. Hallmark. No, yeah, anyway. I, I finally am back in the sea that I know so well. Uh, let's go and actually use some uh, moving about. Uh, let's go there. Ah! Oh, fuck you. <laughs> what even is that? What's that flag? Looks like you've covered it. You've had an accident somewhere, I think. <laughs> oh. Like, did someone get caught in your rotor? <laughs> so, away from the blood ship. Waters. Yeah, now, now we're away from the blood ship. Uh. The blood ship is the name of my of my mentor. <laughs> I, I don't know what would even be a Discord called the blood ship. Like it wouldn't be the weirdest name I've got. For so, uh, the Akimbo Dynamite Club kind of got that name as a joke. That it's kind of hard to explain. It's uh, you know that's. It's from the game Blood. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's a dynamite weapon where you can, like, throw a stick of dynamite. Yeah. That's okay, fair enough. There's also, like, a power-up you can find. Instead of it being, like, quad damage or anything, it's akimbo guns. And every other weapon in the game is just, oh, like, you pull out two shotguns, you pull out two crossbows, or whatever. Except for dynamite, you're still just holding a lighter and a stick of dynamite. And the joke is, here's one where he's holding two lighters. Here's one where he's holding two sticks of dynamite. And they're both equally useless. Hence, a Kimball dynamite bomb. <laughs> yeah. For, for a while we were struggling with a name because, like, everything James or Kitty were coming up with just wouldn't work because it's like oh yeah this is the cat girl stream and i'm like i'm not a cat girl yeah you, you've got to you've got to you've got to embrace diversity people. yeah everyone must be welcome except nazis they need to oh, be yeah. purged obviously intolerance of intolerance is tolerance mm. anyone who tells you otherwise you throw them in a pit! You just throw them overboard in the middle of the ocean. That's what this game is about. Yeah, I mean, we did it to all those fish already. Yeah. And I'm gonna now go and sell that fish that I didn't dump into the sea. While some more fish is being caught. I should probably get two more uh, lines just so I can keep doing that sort of rotation put some out, uh, 
go sell the others. Put them back in. I unfortunately cannot get off the boat, Pank. I am stuck on the boat. For all time. This is my existence. There may be other boats later. And maybe people will join me on them. But for now, and they will also be able to disembark. I've seen there's like things for like keeping crew in like hotels and shit. But I can't leave. This is my prison. My nautical jail. Bad nautical sailors get put in the boat wiggler to atone for their crimes. <laughs> And I will never be done with my atonement. I have done things. So, there's a thing in a couple of servers that I'm in where we have, like, you've got the, the streaming voice chat, you've got the, like, secondary voice chat if people don't want to, like, talk over each other. Mm. And then you've got the third voice chat called the Pear Wiggler, or in the case of Akimbo Dynamite, the Animal Girl Wiggler, because this is a thing they added, like, after hearing about it from me, where it's... So, by default, Discord voice channels have 64 kilobytes per second, like, sound quality, but for some reason you can just keep cranking it down until it's 8 kilobytes a second, and it sounds like you're speaking for a toaster. Oh, no! There are and occasions you'd like, want to do this. There are occasions you'd want to do it, and it would be very funny to have that channel on hand. Mostly we have it as a, that's it, you're going in the Wiggler, and then we just like, <laughs> banish people there. <laughs> it's like some purgatory where your mic quality is terrible. Uh, now, what can I get for my ship? What can I get? Well, I, I, I can't afford a new ship. So let's just ignore that. Uh, don't need to upgrade my storage. Don't. My, I can't afford an engine upgrade. I can get a radar upgrade, but I haven't been using my radar for anything. <laughs> How will you know when enemies are approaching? Uh, when I get attacked, I guess. Alright, see you, man. I ask... Wait, there are enemies or something, but no? No, okay. no, of course there aren't. As much as I want that, uh, this is just a chill fishing game where oh, nothing right. bad happens. Except to fish, where many bad things happen. Constantly. Yeah. Uh, well, I can upgrade my mast again. I still don't know what that actually does, but I can do it. So let's do it. Yeah! I don't know what that does, but I've got it. Upload images again. Uh, I can there also up light, update my searchlight, but I really don't need to. So I won't. Alright, how much does it cost me to buy some long lines? Ooh, I could buy a big long line, but that's most of my cash. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to buy any now, then. I'm going to wait, get the ones that I've laid out already, and then come back and see how much money I've got. Yeah, so I've just sent Tank the, the emotes that we were talking about. Yeah. Honestly, I'll just give people any of the emotes that I've got in my servers and go, yeah, just if you find it funny to use them elsewhere, go for it. I need to work out how to add, add my emotes anyway, so I might do that later. Because I need, to, I definitely need to draw some. Yeah. I mean, how many emotes do you think I could make with this face? <laughs> the oh, answer is a lot. Yeah, just making more variants of the face, and then being able to like switch between them in what's it called, the VTuber. Oh yeah, that's the, that, that is on the agenda. Like, just have, like, even just one looking to the side or something. Mm. Just give you a lot more variety in expressions. Yeah, I mean, I just have talking and not at the moment. Because yeah. uh, I don't have an easy way of swapping modes. 
but uh, I will yeah. shortly. Because uh, uh, I have all right. I didn't. I haven't mentioned this yet. I was going to mention it later on. Uh, tomorrow is my birthday, no, and okay. I will be open. And I know one of the things I'm going to be opening up that day is a stream deck. Nice. Because that would be very helpful. Uh huh. Like I said, I don't solo stream, so like I'm not in great need of having one of those. Mm, no, yeah, it's not really. So it's not, I, yeah. this I, is I've had it described to me are. as it's very helpful if you are actually like the primary streamer. Um, but it is not necessary. But damn, is it not useful if you are? Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna happen. Tomorrow, well, I'm and. Unfortunately, then, I'll very shortly be going away on holiday for a couple for a week, so I won't yeah. have time to do anything with it, really. <laughs> but well, I'll try and at least get it plugged in, so I can do things with it when I get back. Um, I might also stream tomorrow for fun. And that would have then made, and then I'll be even more tired because you know four streams in a week. Yeah, James was talking about maybe I was like upping it to, like we stream twice a week, mm. uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays, and it's yeah. like, okay, James, I can put aside eight hours of my week to like just stream with you. I I do enjoy streaming, but it's like. Going, oh yeah, I want to stream more days, so we kind of like... Okay... Uh, hmm. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to all of them reliably, because like, even as it is, I feel like I'm missing a lot of things, because I'm like, nope, too busy streaming. Yeah, it happen. it does happen. Like, uh... Like... So, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to be in a D and d game soon. Yeah. On, uh, well, Thursday afternoons. So then I'll get back and do this, but uh, if it was, I, it's lucky that they are not coinciding, because I don't want to have yep. to pick. And unfortunately, it would probably be this, because this will have hopefully eventually like make money. Yeah. And I need to make money. We've got. I live to in a capitalistic money. society. I need I to make just money. Just government, but like. That, that's a long time. Oh, did project, it move again? Dickie, did it move again? Is it not Thursday now? Oh, no. Spelljammer, Yes, huh? Spelljammer, because, you know, those new source books are coming out. Spelljammer. Oh, I haven't actually played any tabletop RPG game in years, because they're, like, uh, partly from moving around a lot for work, partly because of the whole depression thing. Well, yeah, that doesn't Meaning help. I just didn't want to be around a physical table with people for that long, and just couldn't get a group together online, because half my friends are American. Mm. And they're always like, oh, we'll just move ahead a couple couple of hours, that'll be fine. No, it won't. We're all still awake, and it's like, this is 4am start for me now, so So no, great. bad. Because while I can be awake at 4am, I shouldn't. Oh yeah, it's not a good, it's not a good idea. Oh, I yeah. saw it move two things. It's not, a, it's not under your control, it's d, &D. schedules happen. People have to, people do things, things come up. On. Fish, I am coming for you. Be warned. Is this guy like literally rooted? Is he is he like nailed to the floor? He doesn't seem to move no matter how the boat rocks.
Alright, let's slow it down. I need to get it into the semicircle that will turn up shortly. <coughs> yeah, when I was looking around on the Steam guides for this game, I saw one that was about how to roleplay in this game. I mean, you can roleplay in any game if you're oh, not yeah. a coward. Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely true, and people do. Yeah. They roleplay even when, like, it really isn't conducive to do conduct to doing that. <laughs> but they'll do like it. Like in Fallout games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That is a deep man. Alright, let's get in some fish. Yeah. Ah, I've been watching a, a YouTube series lately where yeah. the, the gimmick is how much of like Skyrim or Fallout 4 or Oblivion or anything like that can you play without leaving the specific area? And it's like, yeah, how much of Oblivion can you play without leaving the capital city? How much of... Yeah. Like, how much of Skyrim is actually possible to complete without leaving this tiny town off in the wilderness? And it's like, in mm. some cases, it's like, oh, you can actually get pretty high level and you can get a lot of quest content there. And there's like all these hidden, all these hidden gems of quests that a lot of people won't see because they're so weird and obscure. And like, you'd have to be in the town for a long time to come across them. Most of the time, it's just like, Damn, there's really nothing here, huh? Time to make our own farm. And it's like, let's just assassinate the Jarl. Yeah, just why not? And it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, aggro everyone in town and just have them follow me non-stop everywhere I go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we got a redfish. <laughs> Yeah, I have linked it in your Discord before I brought it up. I think you have, yes. Uh, one redfish. Just one. Yeah. Uh... I mean, to be fair, that's more of a... That's more of a... Okay, we've got one redfish and all of these, like, bulk, like, containers full of haddock or whatever. It's yeah, just, like, just haddock okay, like, and pollock. And that was it. And then one not. It's one redfish. Only one valuable fish. The rest is garbage. Throw it overboard. Let the fish become cannibals and feast on their brethren. That's what happens, right? That's what they do? Yeah. Maybe there'll be, a, or maybe you know, the the fish police will go. There's been a murder. Fish police, da 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 da. Fish police, in the ocean. Oh, wait, who you are. Ugh. I can't remember how dog police goes because aside from honestly, right now in my brain, I'm remembering oh, the goodness. intro to Sharky and George. The crime busters Shaky of the sea. And George, the crime <laughs> busters of the sea. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Someone else Shaky. remembers it. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. Someone other than me Fair remembers play. that existed. Ugh, I, I don't even know if it's like a British show, but I'm assuming it is because nobody else has heard of it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, no, I'm. Ah! Reverse, reverse ship. Backwards. Yeah, that's a thing boats are good at doing. For anyone watching the stream, like me and George, are just are both British, uh, and while George is a little older than I am, we have like similar memories of cartoons and stuff from growing up. Mm. Uh, it's the <laughs> same thing when we mentions like obscure British TV shows on the gun show streams and I'm the only person who can confirm they exist. <laughs> uh, we all have those shows that 
only we remember. And yeah. there are very few other people who do. It's, it's just... That we... Yeah. Got that for video games too, and... In one case, for a series of game books, which is why Hank went, Why do you know so much about Fabled Lands? Because you know them! <laughs> That's because I had those books as a kid. Shoe people. Shoe people. Yeah. Fish Impaling Rhythm Game. Good. Great. Yeah. Okay. That's what this is. You be fishing awful. Oh well, more oh, complete redfish. garbage and a redfish. Yeah. Alright, let's get gutting. Oh, visionaries is interesting. Like there's That's the one with the like holograms and the toys and like there were fairly nice holograms for the time. But the the toy series well, and the series itself, both got cancelled pretty early. So there's a lot of toys that we've only ever seen prototype versions of. They're, they were literally never, like, mass-produced, so it's just like, you see them in toy catalogues and it's, this is the only one that ever existed, we never made another one. Am I gonna get there in time? Probably not. It's like Visionaries is one of those ones. I don't quite know how to describe it. It, it feels like a kind of GI Joe, like Transformers kind of style for it. Basically, it's like a technological society, like modern day Earth, except probably far more advanced. I think like suddenly gets hit by a once in a millennia eclipse that switches off all technology and reactivates all magic. And it's just, well, guess we better form a nice and round table. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why wouldn't you? That's the first thing that should come to mind. I need to get, like, holographic, like... They get like giant hologram things turned into their government assigned personas. But, okay. Yep, Trevor Stash can confirm this all happens. And I think one of them like has a hologram of just a guy with a giant exposed brain that he summons up to answer like any questions <laughs> that needs like actual deduction because they're like, ah, kids won't care about, like, a guy researching things in the library for an episode. Let's just have him summon up his giant brain sona and answer the question immediately. Oh good, I got the chance to sell the fish there. Good, good. It's only open some of the time, but, uh, it's directly to the markets, so I get a bit more for it. It's not open. It's only open in like some times. I think it was mentioned in the logbook. No, no not in the logbook, in the wiki. Which is right here. I'm in the wrong place. Yep, this isn't where I thought I was. Shit. <laughs> oh. Well, all right. Uh, right, Fjord. Imputation Junior. Right, let's buy a line. Now let's bait it. 
with... Well, let's get different things. So let's bait this with crab. Bait this with krill. Bait this one with shrimp. Yeah. Let's not crash. I'm gonna crash. I know it. I'm gonna crash. It's gonna happen. It's, the, it's just gonna immediately happen. Wait. I'm a dumb shit. Hold on. I needed to buy fuel. Go, fishy book fish face. Go. There are shows that I, a, a lot of the shows that I know that other people don't seem to remember are generally game shows, which is, you know, not too weird. If you think about it. Yeah. Uh, game shows tend to have a very short shelf life unless they hit it really big. Yeah. There are some that I just are near and dear to my heart, but barely exist. One, which I have only found a single episode still in existence. Ooh, is what it, is that? It is, I think I've described it on Twitter before, like, way long ago, so... Uh, it was a game show called Swap Team... Uh -huh. And it was about... Uh, weirdly, it was like 5.30pm before the news. So it wasn't in the mm -hmm. usual children's programming block. It was a little afterwards. Despite being like early te uh, filled with early teens contestants. Um, and it was... Uh, Corporation Man has stolen all the money. Go into their corporate building and steal it all back. <laughs> I think we should do that anyway. Oh yeah, it's it's it was reclaiming from the corporations the game show. Which was absolutely wonderful. And it's just go in this big tower block, go between floors and there are games on the floors where you get cash. And then you have to crack the safe at the end. Sorry, no, you don't get cash in the things, you get like clues to how to crack the safe. And then you, yeah, good, they, they went to the end and cracked the safe. Got loads of cash into suitcases and they had to get out before it all shut down. And locked them into the tower. Yeah? Absolutely rad, wonderful show. But, uh... Hardly any, it, yeah, there's nothing. There's just one very low quality episode on YouTube that I found, and that's it. Like a VHS recording that someone made. Oh, but I've also uh, possibly more remembered, because I think I described this to Re once and re-remembered what it was, and then I immediately pulled up several episodes, because they actually <laughs> do still exist. Uh, a game show called Scavengers. Oh, I think I, I do remember that With Commander that John Leslie, the most <laughs> miscast person for a rugged marine there could have possibly been. Yeah? It, there's, it was very badly miscast. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you're all like grizzled space types. Yeah, it's going on to this, Go to this old space hulk and get salvage from it and get back before everything fucking explodes. Yeah. Um... And it's just this bizarre Crystal Maze-esque uh, 
go through rooms, get objects. Oh yeah, there's quite a few shows like that. It's the Crystal Maze is the one that was actually successful, so... Mm, yeah, yeah, and deservedly so. Fun fact, I've been there. I have I have been and done the crystal maze. Over in Blackpool? Uh no, there was a for a little while though the studio was in London. And uh I went and uh I helped it get made by <laughs> donating. And that got me a go around. Which was a good time, and yeah, this was, this was, uh, like, it wasn't originally intended to be the studio, it was just sort of a live experience thing, where you did the crystal maze, but they'd done it so well, that later, when the Channel 4 did a pilot to bring the show back, they did it in there. Yeah. Uh... I've still got that I've still got my crystal it's here on my desk because I did crack the crystal maze Unfortunately, I've grown several sizes since I uh, had the bomber jacket. I don't. It does not fit anymore. Yeah. I have grown wider since then. <laughs> oh. At least the last couple of clothes I found don't fit me properly anymore. I can go. Oh, okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's drop the last line here. But yeah, one of the uh, one of the BBC shows that like we bring up in the BB Gun show a lot because it's infamously bad. It's Fight Box. Oh, Fight Box. That the was, whole thing is up on worst. YouTube. It's fantastically bad. Oh, it, yeah. It's like if you tried to make an eSport, but like... But also, it's like, oh, but... Like, they're really there in the studio, and it's... They're meant to be holograms or something, but it's just like really cheap 3D models. Yeah, the technology just... was just not there. No, it was absolutely it, not ready for that. Yeah. And it comes across as a very primitive video game, even for its time. Yeah, like... Uh, we've... I've seen before and after, like, digital, like, games-based programming. And it was fine. Like, hell, remember, like, back in the yo really old days when, like, I can't remember which Saturday morning show had it, but they had, like, a phone-activated version of Hugo. So, like, people phoned in and they yelled instructions to the video game. Yeah. And that was better than Fightbox. That was better than Fightbox. Like most things. Uh, no, I don't think I can make it all the way back to uh, get all the way back to port and back out again. Oh, well, maybe. I'll try. <sighs> yeah. It's 
aside from fight bots, there's stuff like what's it called? Crossfire. Crossfire. Or Hell or yeah. It's what. Like, it's God, the, I loved Crossfire. The paintball, like the, it it's just paintball. Yeah, it is. It was paintball. It's, it's like oh, we have a story. We have like a running campaign. We have to like fight against terrorists to achieve objectives. And whenever anyone got shot with a paintball, they collapsed dramatically, and it would go emulsified. Emulsified. And it's like, I see what they were trying to do, it just came across as incredibly corny, but in like a, a bad way instead of an actually enjoyable one. I still love I loved it. I loved it because it was very corny and bad. <laughs> like, yeah. there was that one guy who was like clearly the sort of uh, big strong man type who, who on the yeah. enemy team. And it they put this costume on him that looked like he wasn't wearing one. Like, uh... <laughs> He, they had sort of like a fake muscle suit over his actual muscles yeah. uh, so that he didn't get shot in paint with paintballs on his actual bare skin but it looked like it was yeah. but it was not good enough to not to look entirely uh, good it looked quite bad like I could again I could see what they were trying to do. But they did not quite succeed. Oh, where the hell is it? Where's my line? Where is it? There you. Well, there's the cruise ship. That I don't need it. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah. Ahead. There. Hey, cruise ship! Don't run over my fucking fishing line, you shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do horrible things to you if you do. I don't know what they are, but I can be creative. Mary, be creative for me. Okay, switching to creative mode. I'm just flying around in the sky, just like putting down blocks now. Thank you, Mary. Yeah? That helps. Building a giant castle out of diamonds, it looks like garbage. Well, a castle made of diamonds would be pretty garbage. Mode. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, just, other just tell. British TV shows. Like, yeah, go on. Anything. What else? Like we all know about nightmare. Of course. Least, like we do, and we've inflicted it on enough people that they go, "Oh yeah, this is real." Oh yeah, they, they, the people know. What's a sci-fi version of it? What? That I don't remember. Yeah, where, where they decided to go like all in on CGI, but it, because of that, like Nightmare used a lot of practical effects yeah, and a lot of like effects. actual actors. Yeah, because that always this looks one better. Always. All sci-fi. Uh, this one was all 3D models at a time. This was in like the 90s, right. so it wasn't great. It wouldn't be. Let's see. No, I can't remember what it's called though. It it was just a very yeah. It just was not there yet. It was too ambitious, and it came across as a worse nightmare. Hmm. Yeah. Like when you don't have nightmare, and that's what you get instead. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Can't we just have nightmare? Looks like I'm getting a lot of redfish this time. Oh no! The camera angles are going a bit wrong! Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! I'm, I'm catching the fish through my own legs! <laughs> There's no clipping into the fish back rooms. 
Oh, now you get to catch 15 every time. Okay. As to be fair, I got here at, a, at the sort of right time. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's 15 that's hours. That's, that's a lot of redfish for once. Yeah, I think it was the bait that I chose. Yeah. Right, let's hopefully not crash into anyone. And uh, still, it it stops me from moving whenever I get back out of the map screen. Uh, uh, where's my line? That way. All right, he's going to grab my pills. Do that. Uh, Take medications. It's important. Oh no, it's not anything that actually like, helps my. Oh, it doesn't awful actually help me. <laughs> That's HRT stuff. That's... Oh god. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, Which... needs doing. Yep. Oh god. And to be fair, I in a way that does the... help your brain. Uh, technically, yeah. It means that my depression isn't quite as, like, all consumingly bad. Because mm. I'm like. Just look in the mirror and go, actually, no, I kind of like how I look. Yeah, that is a good feeling. Yeah. That is a good feeling. This is not something I could have done a couple of years ago. Mmm. Well, it's good that you can. So mm. few can't. Yeah. Because the NHS aren't going to help me. No, no not now. I not did now. mention the time NHS called Oh what yeah, they called to say Hey, we'll call you later. So no, they didn't just call it as, hey, have you been thinking about it? And then just listed off all, all my, of the like, things depression that triggers and it's like, Th no, no? No, but now I am! Well, we'll call you back in a few months. Great! Superb! Right. Wonderful! Well done! <laughs> it's like, great job, guys! Well done! Ah! Yeah. Oh no! Uh, I keep that. Ah! <laughs> no. Yeah, I wouldn't go into any more detail than that. No, just, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's let's just just extremely let's... funny in retrospect how spectacularly useless they are. Mm. Oh god, the waves are absolutely not helping me get in the right position. Oh no! Mm. Ah, it's turning me the wrong way. Ah! Come on, tiny boat. You can do it. You can get in the right position. Ah! Right. God, trying to do all this in first person mode must be absolutely torturous. With absolutely no help whatsoever from the UI. I'll just have to know where everything on these generic seas are. when games just didn't have good maps in them. Mm. That's kind of how you had to be in all of them. Yeah. Just, oh, I know this place from vague landmarks. Yeah, Which I mean... Is half the fun of Morrowind, really? I mean, I suppose. It's, instead of it being follow the arrow to the objective, it's like... Well, I like having... Yes, I like having... You must travel east until you see this mountain and then go through the forest and you will know you've reached it when you see that uh, it's like yeah okay but then they actually gave you proper directions in that game so mm. yeah, I got a good load of cod no I don't got fish yet I need to go look for the other line
Come on. Come on, boat. Well, let's skip most of the way. I, li I like having the directions that I'm supposed to go, just so I can ignore them and go everywhere else. Yeah. yeah. And just go, I know that the game like. won't, the game wants me to go here, so everything else must be interesting. So I go and look at everything yeah. else. Everything else must be like hidden content, like mm. secret treasures I can find and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like Fable yeah. was really good for that. Because it left that, it made that sort of golden path that you'd walk that to everywhere to your next objective. So I just went the other direction. It's like, oh, you found the secret treasure chest, you know? I just ignored the main quest until I got here. Yeah, I like how to totally. I like having the ability to totally ignore progression. Yeah. That's great. Love uh. it. Fable is... It was an ambitious game. Oh, yeah. That clearly got a lot cut out of it. Mm. Just because people were looking at what Molyneux was saying. Now, going, Molyneux has said many oh, things. Mm. Yeah, this this was before he had a reputation of being the Prince of Lies. Yeah, Molyneux, I think right now, is shilling NFTs, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is why you should follow the, the account Peter Molly Do. Oh yes, that is a very good account. account. Which is extremely funny because it's just like, let's take like the way that Peter Molyneux speaks, but also have him intentionally say like completely insane things. To be fair, sometimes people then look at the ideas and then try and make and they them. Go, Actually, this sounds better than anything Molyneux came out with in 10 years. Like, uh, one game that came out of that that I've had my eye on for a while uh, is a multiplayer game called Can't Drive This. <laughs> uh, which is a multiplayer game in which one player is a car driving and the other player is the road and is trying to make the car crash. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, that's just Molyneux, beautiful. Like, in any history of the the British games industry, like when you hit the nineties, you're gonna have to talk about Molyneux. You are. He was like, he was the like big visionary guy of the nineties. There's so many games he had a hand in that are actually like. Oh, these are genuinely great games. Like, yeah, he he was a founding member of Bullfrog. Like, yeah. he was involved in so much, and also anything past like the year two thousand that he's involved in is completely insane. Yeah, like he just felt he could do no wrong and came up with just the weirdest ideas. Like. He became obsessed with the idea of growing a tree in real time in a game, so it would take like a hundred years to actually grow. Yeah, because uh, that's sane. everyone just sane. sighed and rolled their eyes, and yeah. Yeah, that's a completely sane thing to do. Just decide you want to do that, because someone will play your game in a hundred years. Like, yeah, the descendants of the person who started the save file will go back. <laughs> and play it. <laughs> that does sound like a Molly do. Yeah, and that's kind of what that was, Which the idea is, yeah. of that. It was utterly bizarre. Yeah, this is the generation ship of video games. <laughs> oh. Actually, there was a thing well, I saw... We may not see the end of the game yeah. with our descendants. Yeah, your descendants <laughs> will. Oh. And then the the descendants will not get the thing that was promised at the start. Yeah! Remember the whole uh, cube thing? That, oh, the cube. And like, there's a thing at the center, so whoever out of everybody playing gets there, gets a thing! Yeah, then what it did turned, they get? Uh, what they were supposed to get, I say supposed to, is they were supposed to be one of the gods in Goddess. Uh -huh. Now, we all know what happened to Goddess. 
how I it, actually uh, it just yeah. didn't happen. The game sort of... It came out, it was absolute trash, uh, it wasn't remotely finished, and it was being continually worked on, and then it was just abandoned, and so it never happened. Uh, the guy, uh, however, another developer, I can't remember the name of the developer, but they were the game was published by Devolver. Uh, the game Not a Hero. Mm -hmm. uh, they got the guy in as a, <laughs> to say that this guy's a god. Because <laughs> no other game was saying it. And he, cl and he was, he earned the right to be a god. <laughs> I earned the right be a god for a future Molyneux game. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they didn't get it, so now they got it. Let's get some waypoints there and there. And yeah. yeah. Is that the place I'm thinking it is? Yes, it's Hammerfest Centrum. I am just in time to sell the fish directly to the market. This is actually where I was trying to go last time. But I got lost and went to the wrong place. Because I'm smart and clever. Right. Now, see how much money I've got after I've, uh, got this in. Where's the dog? Where do I need to go? Oh, it's that tiny little space that someone's already in! Get out of there, you fat fuck! Not that it's bad that you're fat, anyone is fine. Yeah. It's a problem for anyone, it is. I'm just saying that you know, you're a fuck. The descriptor on top of that. Yeah, I mean, it's bad because they're a fuck. Yeah. That part isn't the bad part, but it's just like a descriptor. A descriptor of, of like, you. The yeah. descriptor of the of the of the thing I am insulting. Mm -hmm. All right, let's dock. It's like I am actually like mildly overweight. I'm actually oh, I'm... way better about that oh, now. I'm, I'm a, I am very obese. Yeah, and there's nothing. And wrong I have with that. no problem with that at all. Yeah. None. Damn, thirty-two thousand kroner. That's a hole. Oh, uh, that, that, wow. I don't think rope should do that. Just wildly wobbled everywhere. Let's mark it. Let's buy a long line. All right. Got another big long line. Uh. Let's buy some fuel and fix up the hole. Out, I guess. I don't know how long I'm gonna go tonight. I don't think long, to be honest. I'm not even sure how many people are here. There's apparently four people in the chat, but I know one of them is me, so it's like. And one of them is me, so. <laughs> There have been a few people talking. Oh yeah, no, people have been in and out. That's fine. I don't mind. I 
time is it? Oh no, it's half ten. That's that's not bad. That's not a bad time. Yeah, no, that seems fine to me. Save career. Save over the fish. McFish face save. Save. Oh no! It keeps the ta it keeps the day of the first save on the save file, even if it's later. Great. Ah, and I managed to get. Mary on the end screen just before it turned up. Oh yeah. Because I don't know how to edit things without being in the screen. <laughs> I think I know there's a way to I know there's a way to do it, I but thrown overboard. I know there's a way to do it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's fine. What? Well, it's kind of an impromptu like I just jumped in on the screen kind of thing. Yeah, no, it's fine. I just want to be Hank accommodating. Has a, Hank has a more like Controllable stream setup, so they just like dump me into the corner when it comes up. Yeah, like um, I, I wasn't. I certainly wasn't prepared to do uh, to put the video tube in as well. Um, I mean, I could have, but eh, that would have been like effort, and uh, I, I don't have any energy. But hey, okay. Um, Wow, let's see what's up. Oh, Hank's streaming stick the key right now. Yeah, I believe they did in say say they were going to do that. And I don't see anybody else uh, um, on. The Twitch sidebar is so much less distracting for me now that I just blocked the like suggested stuff. Oh yeah, get it's just, just get that out of to just like just get I wish that there was an here. option not to have it because I don't want to see it. I don't want oh Markiplier is doing it's like no. No, that's not that. we're not interested in that. Like and just the constantly updating icons were always like drawing my eye and I didn't want to look at any of them. Mm. It's like oh I never noticed when friends are online and deliberately looking aside from that side of the screen. <laughs> you know. Just realised I had the uh, wrong bar saying what music was playing. It was still saying it was going for gold. <sighs> Alright. Uh, let's set this up then. Time. We're gonna go and raid the superlative squid. We're just ramming into like the side of tank stream. Yeah, just smash in our straight boat into it to, in like, our boat. capture squids. Alright, yeah, when we get in we'll just say we're here to steal their booty. Uh oh, plunder your booty. Yeah. Yar. Yar yar. Set sail for one piece. I mean, pints stream. All right, I'll press the button. Uh, see you all tomorrow, probably, for some trains. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Some trains. <laughs> <laughs>